We'll come back, everybody. Top eighth on each side. Every, every lane's been oiled, so that's why they are so far from each other. Boys are bowling from 5 to 12, and girls from 29 to 36. And then upcoming rounds will move further in the middle of the center. Format is still best out of three. I think that's the same format all the way around, even in the finals. Yeah, semis and finals are also best of three. Here at the far and high end of the center, we have two Scandinavian matches. Sweden, Denmark, Finland, Denmark on the girls' side. Then we have England against Ger uh, France and Denmark against Ireland. Boys are deep in the lane on those two matches. They're gonna get nasty these lanes. And actually, Matthias, that I thought would be one of the one furthest in, is quite far right. Again, definitely no match play and one lane courtesy. I think it says in the rules that no match play. You can't even decide. That was only meant for those semi-finals and finals. So again, we'll be going in a quick pace. But we are going to keep bowling basically all the time now with no major breaks. Next round starts in a little over an hour. As this is the first time we're using 35 and 6, I know you bowled a couple times on that pair. That high hit for Emma on lane 36, surprising or no? Well, I haven't been bowling those lanes recent years at all, so I don't know if there is that big of a gap between 35 and 36, but usually 36 has been hooking more than 35. But the difference hasn't been that big yeah, instead of 1 and 2. One hooks always. Yes, three, one four hooks a lot more. Mistake there by Emma, missing the six pin. Can you manage to Sophie? Yeah, I think 36 is not as, as dry as it used to be, and it's definitely do tighter down lane if you're hooking at it than it used to. Now we are not using live screens on TV, we are using actually online scoring and it's going to complete the frame when it's ready. So if there's something else than a strike, like let's say 9, it will be 9 is pair after the spare shot. But as you can see on the screen, you can still easily follow what's going on. And the reason for this is that some of the cameras especially on the early part of the bowling center would have been not sharp enough, let's say, put it that way. So this is actually better to do it this way. As you can see, for example, pardon me. There were sometimes actually for yeah. him in Svensson Askel it said six. Yeah, and same thing for Kaiser. I've always thought about that in watching following live score here. Sometimes it shows it, sometimes it doesn't. So it, I've yeah, never understood how. Yeah, it just works. And now somehow it's it thinks Kaiser's done with the frame with the nine. Yeah. 
I think it has something to do with the auto refresh or something. Yeah, I asked. E either way, will be it'll be good to or easy to. Follow yeah, we from. can follow it anyways. There's some early leads in the boys' side. Tuna with one open, no doubles against Magnus. He's trailing the by a lot. Flores, eight spare, six spare, nine spare. Following Matis's perfect start so far. And that was perfect too. Benjamin is deep in his match against Matamate bowling. Left the fourth arrow already, I believe. Shot by Emma, but La Platten, or ringing Platten there, allowing Sophie to have a chance to go over 30 pin lead. A bit unfortunate, nine. And her twin sister, right next door, top eight at the European Championships. No biggie. No. Karen seems like she's on cruise control. Doesn't look comfortable. Her mom is dead. And a best of three match. It is not a good thing to show your opponent that you're nervous. The pace of play is definitely fast. Yeah, it's not going to take that long. Melissa there with a the double took the lead over Jessica, but now missing the 3-5-6 gives it back, and Jessica has a chance to extend that too. Karen seems pretty happy with her situation. I don't see her missing the pocket many times these two or three games. Well, so Sophie seems to be lining up pretty nicely on that pair. Looking like twins are going to take 1-0 lead each. And Jessica did strike and Melissa misses again. Or does, fails to score, strike. Melissa actually isn't hit at the pocket after all. Oh, the two strikes were lucky? The other one was Brooklyn. Jessica been pretty solid this week and bowling a lefty. I don't see her uh, wedding into a lot of trouble that match. She'll be hard to beat. Yeah, it was actually quite surprising that she on only finished fourth in the all events. Yeah, she looked a little too over eager in the final day of teams. Emil again, as, as in the finals yesterday in the team boys' team final, has failed to strike in the, all these five first attempts. And Mika that dropped out Marcus before, now in a comfortable lead through five, or actually probably six, probably missing a strike already.
And after that strike, he's leading by 20 against Monica. Oh, Jessica yes. missed. Just as we said, Jessica is about to be solid. She does that. On the boys' side, I'd say Manglos and Matias have won their first game. Mikael Dela leaves the two-pin, which is fine. He's leading by 37. And we'll now should start striking and putting the pressure on Mikael. Another strike for Sophie, and that's pretty much locks the first game. And as the door was open for Melissa, she had a chance to take the lead, but she fails and actually splits. And Jessica gets to beat a little bit. On that 30 lane, she has Brooklyn high hit a four pin, and now P10. So every, every shot has been high. Great pickup. Four point game. And Hannah there gets a tickler strike. Go up 30. Is it actually the same pair that Monica played in the first round? I think it is. Yes, it was. That's a blooper. Okay, they oiled the lanes, but they still, oil it should and, be and a and they one. draw a lane, but that should, in my mind, it should not be possible. And all lands do have their own characteristics anyway. Yeah, even though you re-oil them, still you should change. <laughs> Hannah did strike for another one, which means she wins with a mark, though Monica striking here still forces her to mark. That's a two-pin game with, between Mate and Benjamin. Exactly. Both working on spare, going to 10th frame. They handled there with an open frame, and that game is also done. As is Matthias and Magnus. It's a big shot here by Benjamin. So it's the issue when you're so deep that if, if you don't get it to dry, the ball just does not see it. Oh. 
interesting between Jessica and Melissa. Jessica needs to spare this 210 to win it. Now Melissa needs another strike yeah. to win it. Or lose by one. Yeah, this delay on the scoring is slightly confusing. I guess we missed. I guess Benjamin made the spare. As he's still waiting for a ball there. And that was probably Mate's first shot. So with the spare, Mate would lead by one. Melis is struck for the second time and she won the first game. Wow, 180 winner. And a spare. Great kick. So does that mean that nine Mate count? Oh, uh, Benjamin got nine on the fill? Yeah, yeah, it is all Oh, sorry, yes, yeah, sir. So Mate needs nine. Sometimes it says over there immediately, and sometimes it takes 20 seconds to put it on the board, what happened. Just the way to do it. Yeah, that's that's a spot where you normally don't get less than nine. No. Especially with that ball reaction. It wasn't really a striking ball reaction, but it was never leaving in flat 7-10 or something like that. Now that's going to stink from Jessica opening the 10 to opening the door and now starting with the 4-9. Emma is struggling. She missed. 3, 6, 10 to start the second game. She's finished. She knows 3, 6, 10 is impossible. <laughs> Melissa changed her urethane to reactive and since then it's been okay and Jessica is in trouble. Now starting again mm -hmm. with 4-9 and the way no. Melissa throws it, the advantage of your thing kind of is not there. And in the first round, her your thing worked well, but this time it didn't grab the lane at all. Big double there by Kaisa. Karen left the three pin. The yeah, Emma's in trouble. see Benjamin win the game here on Mate Benjamin match just to see what Benjamin does game three as he's already fifth arrow nearly. <laughs> Mangs there on the first pair an early double and Tuna has already opened once. So strike here in the fourth but really getting closer to the next round and the medals.
There's a lot of mind there for Sophia. She uh, dropped it or something. It was quite far in. Now it's dragging along. It didn't have that spare shot. And Emma had already made a strike in the third. starting with a double there against Emil. He's been struggling so far. And Emil has three strikes so far. Matthias here on lane seven, big frame. 18 pins behind. An opponent not on strike. Pretty good shot, big strike. And puts the pressure on. Monica with an early double against Hannah's open frame. And so yet we're going to go to third game there. Sophie went Brooklyn on 36 and very high on 35. So seems like there's some kind of a transition going on. Yeah, her ball seems quite dull, and I guess she's hitting the same spot too often. I'm not moving. Another 10 pin for Jessica. Yeah, it's a little, she's forcing it a little bit too far, much, and it kind of, the ball somehow reads it also and knows. Karen with a double, but now at an eight count. So Kaiser with a strike here would tie the match and have a possibility to take lead. Now oh, flat too. And Matthias struck again, so now he's actually leading by two. And with that strike, Magnuson first pair takes a 36 pin lead and working on strike. It's looking pretty good for him. He needs one more double and, and to stay clean here the last four frames. Now Sophie was able to hit the pocket once again. Looks like Benjamin moved his break point a little further in even. So he's almost piping it from deep. Another miss for Emma on 3-6-10. Now Jessica left the bucket. I guess her thoughts are on the middle of how co close it is. Up. Great shot by Kaiser, they stay in the match. 
the scoring pace is definitely going down. Another 10 pin for Jessica. Sophie strikes again. And that pretty much seals the deal. Yeah, Emma needs to strike out to 215. And I don't see... I don't see that happening. No, no. that shot is not good. 3-8. <coughs> That's something that I don't really understand how it's possible, but... You can see it occasionally. It just happens to hit the five pin perfectly and it kills the ball and just... Well, it's kind of the same thing as, as Solid 8 at that, from that point on. Yeah. It just shouldn't happen. Melis actually, I saw, did that yesterday and made the spare. I so it looked even more random because it was on the left side. I remember in Barcelona over 10 years ago and our good friend Yari Ratia was <laughs> playing and we knew that he needed one strike at least in the 10th to make the finals. That was during qualification. And then Yari made the shot and started waiting. And it looked like that he was happy with the shot and it hit the nose and there was 3-8-10. So I told him, oh Yari, you left the triangle. Yeah, the Bermuda triangle. His ball got <laughs> disappeared somewhere in there. But I do remember Yari wasn't laughing. Oh, Karen left the bucket. Yeah, that's really crucial in that situation. And Sophie, with that strike, sealed the deal. Yeah, even mathematics, she only needs like 4-1 four, four yeah. in the next frame. It, it's in the books. So this year, there is no medals coming to the home nation Finland from the Masters. So Emma was the lonely remaining player from Finland. Benjamin here, I didn't see it previous time, but the la three out of the last four at least have could be in Brooklyn's. Three? Yeah, this one Brooklyn again, he's bowling. Yeah, like okay, all, he didn't carry, time. but he's <laughs> the Brooklyn, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Five, nine. <laughs> Kaiser with the strike and Karen with the open with, and the last count. Ka Kaiser only needs to stay clean the last two frames. With that strike, Hannah still has theoretical chance to win. But she needs to strike out and Monica needs to open up in the tenth. Melissa here with the strike basically seals the match. Then she'll only need an 8-0 in the last frame. Or, or yeah, better. Jessica was struggling with a 10-pin, then did something on 31 and then hit the nose. Yeah, yeah everything disappeared then. Magnus on the boy side has one already. Melissa actually left a 4 or 10. Mm. Oh wow. So high game on that pair is 186 so far. I guess the first one. And more forces Monica to mark. But there's already a strike for Monica. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's because it's yeah, lagging. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Monica sorry. had already seen the deal. Yeah. It's five point lead for Melissa. And since Kaisa, did she make a spare on that six? She did. I'm looking at the uh, yeah. monitor here. So that's 21 points. 
You know, the strike here would make Kaiser nervous. As then she would need a strike in the first shot, maybe. Jessica left the two pin. So a decent mark from Melissa is enough already. Yes, per seven and you're in the middles. And hit the Brooklyn side. And that's a strike and it seals the deal. Yeah. Mott has opened there in the eighth left Benjamin the match and almost left another split there. Guys are left and ten pin. So, so now we could possibly tie. the tie. Two different ways. Nine spare here for Karen and nine miss or two twenty something tie. Wow. Ecstatic for the strike. Yeah, I would think that she left the seven pin based on her reaction. But and good thing for her, she gets to go first though. She cannot lose if she strikes. And she can get the extra pressure on Kaisa. That looks like a miss, does it? Ouch. So now, nice Twins spare. are got, twins are through. Kyra kind of, uh, has traveled twice already. Oh, it's twice, okay. So that was the second strike. Yeah. <laughs> but the twins will not face each other. So, so they might actually face up in the, in the in the final. So this delay is sort of like... This it's a bit confusing. Yeah. Because we can't watch all the lanes since there are eight matches going on. And well, I would have thought that Melissa would win the match with 186 and 178, but that is what happened. Yeah, and Hannah and Monica are the only pair on the girls' side who is playing the third game. And on the men's side, it could be that there are nobody None, playing. Yeah. The third game. And based on how Benjamin has been shooting, it's not going to be an easy double for him. I mean, that's a weird line to play right now. No, it worked. And I wonder if that it was the first of the center second. It yeah. seemed like it was the second. Yeah, based, based on, on the on reaction. Yeah. And since this delay is over there, it's... And Mate uh, definitely doesn't seem too happy. And that there, I believe, is the match too. I think Emil and Michael have both struck. Her. Yeah. Oh no. Michael that was needs a ninth nine that, that count was a ninth all together in the tenth to win by one. No, no, no. no. He needs one strike and eight spare if he yeah, no strikes yeah. out. But this has it to be a strike because Michael probably will get nine with two shots. Yeah. That cr strike was crucial to save count on a possible open or bad opening shot. Yes, yeah, so yeah, that was yeah, the second shot. Second, yeah, because so that third, reaction. The third, yeah, 206. So we're going to decide her there. It's going to be interesting to see what he does in the last frame. Last game, sorry. That is not it for Emil. Though, a spare here still forces Mikhail to 9 pins. Though, 9 pins is not much when he's pulling that straight. And actually, 9 is his lowest count this game. Yeah. <laughs> Funny how often you make the spare when you don't kind of not even going for it. Great shot by Hannah. She's actually changed balls to something dark. Was that pitch black or a reactive? Let's see when it comes out of the ball returner. I believe she's throwing the IQ. 78. And Mikhail sees the deal. It's still purple, Hannah. It is purple. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen her throw that ball at all this week. She's thrown the, the Storm IQ. 
78U. Yeah, the red one. So now on the boys' side, third seed, ninth, seventh seed, ninth seed lost all to lower seeds. And if Benjamin wins, it, it would be 12, 13, 15, 16 in the top four. So who's to say they wouldn't done it in the round robin now that they've already bowled two matches? These are quick, it's taken 31 minutes until now. It's looking bleak for Monica now. His hand has started with the phone four. And Monica is 14 under after four frames if she makes the spare. It's already 44 points. Hannah probably feels more comfortable also with the purple that hooks earlier and more, it seems. If something she was like quite often with the red ball. But now Jimmy Dan took Hannah's ball accidentally. She thought it was Monica's and <laughs> <laughs> gave it the treatment. <laughs> no, that was just a joke. But Monica it could actually there, happen yeah. since they it have so could, many yeah. purples, you accidentally take the wrong ball. Though Jimmy obviously is not changing the surface there, he's just wiping off the oil of the bowling ball. Oh, with that miss pair. This is basically only just for Hannah to lose. Oh, Benjamin missed the four pin. Quite okay. I think Hannah throws it up back up at the spares. At least during practice she did that. She had the first 300 of her career yesterday evening, sorry, yesterday morning, last game of qualifying the team event. Say ball reaction advantage is on Mate's side, but the lane doesn't seem too easy right now because they've just decided to start so deep in. And yeah, that reaction I would there hate is to play with purple hammer from the fifth arrow. Even though Hannah missed that spare, it's still 35. Uh, for, uh, yeah, that's with if, if Monica strikes. I think it's safe to say that none of these four are oozing with confidence right now. I actually didn't see that Monica missed those two pins completely. It was 45. Four frames to go, 45 pin lead. You have a decent reaction. And I'm not, I'm not ready to call this a spare, not just yet on money. And it wasn't. So that's kaput. Uh, yeah, it should be. It is highly unlikely that Monica will strike out for 200 there and still Hannah with a decent count here can afford one open. See Mate shot there. Was it the solid egg? It was not, but it was pocket. It wasn't flat ten, but it was kind of flattish eight. Okay. 
and assuming the rack was okay, then it tells you something about your reaction. He's kind of locked in to be there, though. His reaction is better than Benjamin, so... Ball, ball reaction-wise, advantage nothing. Monica keeping her slim hopes alive with that strike. But one, in my mind, quite surprising fact is also that Sweden also missed out on the medals in the Masters. I have to agree. If before the championship even started, there would have been a bet if this happens for Sweden, I wouldn't bet on this. Not even that, and then add Finland to that, and then definitely would have bet on, on yes, a medal. Yeah. But that just tells you how surprising these Masters finals can be. Well, I guess we're counting Denmark to Scandinavia today for that reason, and, and <laughs> as they're taking almost all the medals. <laughs> Yesterday it was some <laughs> kind of a hybrid, because during medal presentation there was a country called Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Hannah, put it away with that one. Yeah, with a nine count, first shot next frame. Eight one, even two opens is fine. Yeah. Mata struck again, Benjamin failed. So Mata here with a good shot to have a great position for the last four frames. And that is the exact situation. Thirteen pins. Well, and now mathematically it is over. Yeah, it's in the box. And with that, Hannah gets a medal, and that's her second here. Two medals for Ireland. I would think that it is, it is more than what they were hoping for. Well, maybe they were hoping as much, or even more, but what their goal was. And I somehow like her spare game, that backup ball and everything. Yeah, when the pattern's displayable, then Yeah, and if she keeps on playing more, I see the potential over there. Whoops. Yeah, Benjamin starts to need finding the pocket. He's avoiding it almost at all costs right now. And also that spare shot sort of like tells the story, story. of a confident young man. No, he's not at the moment, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, like last game, Mate was hitting the pocket more, and, and he's, where he hit was closer to each other somehow. Benjamin never opened and, and won by a couple. That was a bad idea. Yeah. Lose count. And if he opens up, it's already Benjamin who is leading by a few pins. Somehow, Benjamin just... Yes, stars are aligned. That's the way to respond to a washout shot by Mate. That's the unfortunate and, and minus side of backing it up to wash out. 5-1 happens so easily. Well, it was pretty easy for Billy on TV with straight shot, too. <laughs> yeah, twice, <laughs> twice in a row against DJ. That's insane. And the count there was in 
crucial. <laughs> and he lost because of those five ones. I'd like to see the spectator on this match and where the ball hit the pins each shot. It would be all over the place. So it would be pretty much the same as Kimo Lehtonen was using cats in Lake Wells in Florida. There was short and long patterns and you couldn't tell <laughs> which pattern it was. Oh yeah, he was the upper, uh, other end of the spectrum. He was accurate. Yeah, this, he was this playing both. They're, they're calling the whole lane at the, b at the yeah, end yeah, down the lane. Funny thing was it, didn't you see that the other one was 45 and the other it was 35? Because it was the exact same line. I think Linus did that too, like Anderson Ehrman. Could be. Not the biggest hook master out there. But the master anyway. That he is. Anders Lukas. Nice pick up by Benjamin. So 2 is not an easy spare. Yeah, two four pins. A little blurry, but still four. I think we can remember yeah, the, the difference. The eyesight is uh, as our minds a little blurry, especially during the evening. So big frame here for Benjamin. Pretty nice strike on strike on this lane last time. I'm still uh, debating about the strategy used for this match. It seems to work, but well, it's more relying on luck. In these matches, shooting Brooklyn strikes and celebrating like that, it's a good strategy. I yeah. know players who might actually fall for that. Surprised how beaten up he seems like his poor pins behind only and Benjamin has not hit the pocket probably once on the right yeah. end of this game. And that was a spot where you could sort Easily of have said. some antiques real strike yeah, or something. Like, you know the, where the pocket is? Sir? Well that would have been kind of mo too much but real strike. That goes that inside the limits. That looks a little bit off for me so Tempin could be easily standing here. Great shot, great strike, though that Brooklyn strike there, to me, it feels a little wrong. Yeah, like you said, it should have been a 10 spare. Now Mate has one Aaron shot that, and he got super lucky and lucky, got five on a spare, and that kind of decided the match. Looks pretty good. Well, it okay, didn't matter. Four nine, and four nine or nine pin or four it pin doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. But if that happened earlier in the game, also that would have been just a little, <laughs> little brutal. But as they say, all scores count, all strikes count. I do not like Benjamin's chances of winning the next match having with, with this strategy. No. So four medals to Denmark then. And it, what happened? Twelve. 13th, 15th, 16th seed are through in the boys. You could say that they mastered this uh, format. In the girls, it's 2, 6, 7, and 14. And that means Karen will be bowling Melissa and Hannah will be facing Sophie. So no twins facing each other. And Magnus, 12th seed being the highest, highest seed, will face Mikhail from Iceland. And Norway will be facing Denmark. Matthias against Benjamin. And Karen was the lone player who got a medal from all events to medal also in the Masters. Well, I don't know exactly how much it's it going to take time for us to continue, but... I think schedules as quarter overs, practice starts. So let's say 10 to 15 minutes they start, minutes. and then ten, yeah. 10 minutes practice. Catch you guys in a whiff. Yep.
One more thing, if you're watching on stream from 5 to 8, 9, 12, 29, 32, or 33, 36, those streams will be ending soon. When we come back, it's going to be 17 to 20, 25 to 28, or the mainstream. So tune in there. Thank you. 